Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and welcome to Kinder Stories. The story that we are reading together today is Little Red Riding Hood. Let's start. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who always wore a riding cloak with a red hood. So everyone called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day, her mother said to her, Please go and visit your grandmother and take her this basket of food because I hear she has been ill. So Little Red Riding Hood put on her cloak and set off to walk through the woods to grandma's house. On the way, she met a wolf. The wolf was hungry, but he did not dare eat Little Red Riding Hood because there were some woodcutters working nearby. So he asked her where she was going. Little Red Riding Hood was scared, but she answered, I'm going to my grandmother's house on the other side of the wood. Then she ran quickly on her way. The wolf ran as well, much quicker than Little Red Riding Hood, and he got to the house first. He locked grandmother in another room, then he put on one of her spare night dresses, her cap, her glasses, and got into her bed. When Little Red Riding Hood knocked at the cottage door, the wolf was waiting. Come in, come in, he said in a squeaky voice. Is that the Little Riding Hood? Come closer, child. Little Red Riding Hood took a step closer. Grandma, what big arms you have, she said. All the better to hug you with, my dear, said the wolf. Little Red Riding Hood took another step towards the bed. And Grandma, what big ears you have. All the better to hear you with, my dear, said the wolf. Little Red Riding Hood took another step towards the bed. And Grandma, what big eyes you have. All the better to see you with, my dear, said the wolf. And Grandma, what big teeth you have, said Little Red Riding Hood, going up close to the bed. All the better to eat you with, roared the wolf, jumping out of the bed, ready to gobble down Little Red Riding Hood. But just then, the door burst open. In came a woodcutter with a big sharp axe, and at once the wolf turned tail and ran away as fast as he could. The woodcutter and the little red riding hood found her real grandmother safe and sound. Then they all sat down to have some tea. And that bad wolf was never seen again. The end. If you like the story, subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thank you.